Hello guys and welcome to the Relationship Report, where we dive deep into the dynamics of love, dating, and relationships. In this eye-opening episode, Kevin Samuels engaged in a candid conversation with a 33-year-old woman who described herself as a fat black woman. As they discussed her desires for finding a high-value man and getting married, Kevin challenged her expectations and delved into the realities she may face in the dating world. All right, Tasha, what's going on? Hey, Mr. Samuels. Um, let me know if you can hear me, okay? I can. Okay, great. Uh, first of all, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for this show. Um, I am a fat, black baby mama. Okay. And I'm working like my hair is on fire. I found out about all this too late. And I am working like you advise the women who want a high value, high earning man just to get the better quality man of men that typically are drawn to women like me. Um, so I appreciate this opportunity to chat with you wholeheartedly. Um, I grew up in high poverty, low income, fatherless neighborhoods. Okay. And um, because of it, I went through a period of really just eating my feelings. So I know you're gonna like, you're gonna ask, you know, how'd you get all that weight on you? Eating my feelings. Um, very so early, my mom realized that I could be- How old are you? I'm 33. All right, so what do you, so what, what's the outcome you're trying to achieve? I'm on a path now, or what do you want? I'm gonna keep going. What, what, what do you want? I don't know what all this means. Are you I want to be married in the next two to three years. By I would love to not have to pay significant bills, but there's a probability that I may have to pay, pay some many, of the bills. How many, how many children bills. do you have? I am a mom of one. Okay, and where did, did you go to college? I graduated from college. What do you do for a living? I'm an IT manager. At 33? Do you want yes. to, do you want to have any more children? I would like to become either a stepmom or have at least one other child of my own. So the answer Based is, on what my the answer is, is you'd be open yes. to it, but preferably not really. No, I want you more said children. become a stepmom, which means you don't birth another one. Or at most, no, I, let me, or at most, you want to birth one. Yes, yes, okay. but kind of based on what my husband would like to, depending on how that works. Because I, I, I don't, I don't think okay, it would slow, be my decision. Slow, slow down, slow down, slow down. Take it down a, a few, okay. Thirty-three. I don't know why so many women, who are, and when I say this, women get upset. Average women, all got to have all these high value men. I don't understand it. If you if you worked at Walmart, would you want a high value man? If I worked at Walmart, would I want to? All things I really be, have to look at myself to see. I don't. Okay, ma'am. If you had a if you had a job, okay, ma'am. The question is simple. If you made thirty or forty thousand dollars a year, would you want a high value man? If you didn't have a college degree, would you want a high value man? Yes. Yeah. Why? So, 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 okay, let me ask you this question. Do you think that's normal? So, do you one think, of the things I think, want to share no, with no, you. No, 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 no. Do you think that's normal for women who are with a high school degree working just right above minimum wage, 20, 15, 20 dollars an hour? Do you think women like that? Want high value men? Oh, I misunderstood. No, I'm sorry. That's not normal. No, it's not. So why 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 do you get that? Um, so when I said high value man, I am a new listener. And when what I is high said value, that what I does high value men wanted, sound like to you? Okay. I may not have the correct definition, but what I am looking for is a man that would come to the table earning close to what I make. So stop right there. See where we're already at? This is what I said earlier. You want a man based upon your education and income. Unfortunately, you've out-earned your SMV, sexual marketplace mm -hmm. value. Do average women get above average men? Average women do average get women average. get above I average? I don't men? think average looking women. I don't think the average looking women would get the high, high, high earners. 
So that would be so, no. Um, no. So why do you? Why do I want a high earner? No, no. Why do you? Um, why do you in particular? Why do I want a high earner okay. or someone that earns? Close okay, to ma'am. Earn? It's just very simple logic. Well, you can answer the question when it's not you, but when it comes to you, it all of a sudden gets gray. Okay, so you want a man based upon your income. He's in line with your income. I'm shooting for the moon with the possibility of laying at the stars, if that makes sense. All right. Meaning I'm willing to do the work. All right. No, ma no ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. All right. And this is when I, this is when it starts to get, people start to say I'm being mean, but ma'am, how tall are you? I'm only five, five. Dress size? I am a size 16. How much did you weigh at your last weigh-in? Okay. At my last weigh-in, I was 276 pounds. I am now 222 pounds. How many rich or wealthy or successful men go out and get 300 pound women? None of them. All of the men that are high earners in my city have very petite, beautiful women. So ma'am, why are you setting yourself up for failure? Well, like I said earlier, I'm willing to put in the effort of a woman because I've got to work a little harder, as you can tell. I'm you, willing to put in the effort of a woman you, you, how tall? that's looking for Stop. that. Stop. I'm only, I'm only five, five. I know. And that, a guy oh, oh, you're not going to over talk me. Oh, I'll stop talking. How much weight would you have to lose to get to a normal weight, healthy weight? I am on track now. How much weight? How, how weight. much weight would you have to lose to get to a healthy weight? One hundred pounds. When, right. when was the last time you weighed 120 pounds? It's been a long, I, I would say probably um, in my teenage high school years. So this is going to be uncomfortable, man. You can, mm -hmm. you can talk a good game. You can have all the buzzwords. And I really feel sad for our sisters that have gotten like this because our culture and our media has fed this. That women who are 300 pounds can sit back and think this because they can manifest and Lizzo and everything else that all they got to do is I can just decide to work really hard ma'am you're almost you're 33 with a child a 33 year old baby mama who's 300 pounds wanting a high value man no you need a man an average everyday man and you'd be lucky and fortunate to get one of those yes that's my goal no you're not first. you said you want a high value man somebody earning what you're earning how much do you earn I earn over uh, six figures, but and that's not. I, and how I, many I men earn that. over that? I don't. They're not coming. How my many way men first. earn over six figures? What percentage of men earn over six figures in this country? Um, I don't. I, what I, well, percentage of men do you man, think? Say, what percentage of men do you think earn over six figures in this country? I would say somewhere in the teens, between ten percent, ten to twelve percent. Oh, okay, okay, ma'am. Why didn't you marry your baby daddy? He left. Why did he leave? He left because he didn't want to be with me anymore. No, no, just, no, 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 no. How old is your child? We have an eight-year-old. And you graduated from college at what age? I had to go back because I took some time off to work. Um, oh, I was about. Can you just answer 20... a direct question? Oh, I'm sorry. Just what I'm chatty and conversational. Um, I was about twenty six, maybe. All right. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. Honestly, this would drive the men you're talking about would drive up a storm. Is your baby daddy earning more than you? No, he's not. No. What does he do for a living? He's a barber. So what I need you to listen to is this. This is your this is your story. 
I'm a woman who's 33 pounds, 33 years old, mother of an eight year old. I weighed close to 300 pounds. My child's father is a barber. Yet, because I went to college and I have a degree and I've lost 40 pounds, I want a man who's earning six figures plus. No, sir, I don't. I know I'm, 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 I'm in the same show everybody else in the chat room is in. You want him earning at least what you're earning and you like to not have to work. I actually have a range I'd like to share if that's okay. Are you trolling me, ma'am? Are you being serious? Please stop looking at the chat room. I'm, I'm honestly asking, are you being serious? Yes. Yes. Okay. You're delusional. Women your size don't get high value men. Much less women your size who are baby mamas. Much less women who are baby mamas to barbers. Ma'am, that's why I'm like, are you trolling? Are you being serious? Um, I consider it serious. I've been taking my notes, like you said, and I've got. But you're not my, my client, ma'am. You're not my client, and you're taking notes about oh, stuff sorry. you don't. You're taking notes from a YouTube show. And as I'm talking to you, ma'am. You are all over the place. The reality of it is most men don't want to marry baby mamas, much less obese baby mamas. And you That's know true. good and doggone well, you came on here talking about you want a man who's making enough money to where you could don't have to work. And I'm like, where do you, what do you see? What, I asked you, what do you see men that earn that kind of money with women that that are your height and your weight and you don't but you're and just they, talking them, you're just talking and this is what our culture has done to so many of our women they just think on the power of the sunshine that they can just I'm, I'm, I am hey I'm just I can I can make it happen and it don't work that way it does not work well, that I, I it does not work I no, no, I'm done with nope 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 from you so yeah, nope 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 you're just talking I mean, I'm really, I'm really sad for this woman because I really believe she believes this. And you're still looking in the chat room like, I get it. This is the most attention you've had. Can you, you can unmute yourself, but you cannot talk over me. I'm unmuted. Well, I, I wanted to kind of share that with you just to get your opinion on it, but I, I appreciate your input. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. But you are completely on the other side of the moon. See, there are people in the chat room who are probably cracking up, just busting, ha, ha, but I don't find any of this funny. This is what our culture has done to so many of our women. This is what telling them you you the most lit this is what that prosperity preaching that telling there's no problem with you sis anybody that's what all this shit is wrought a woman who can get to be her height her weight and she really can come in and think she can demand that kind of situation and even if i don't get it i wanted to accept a little bit less and not one thought was for the man that would have to accept that deal what kind of man would have to accept that? This man has to go out and make himself the man he is, and he will come and get a wife like this. And even if he did accept her height and her weight, he'd have to accept her mentality. Then he'd have to deal with this child. Then he'd have to deal with the baby daddy, who's a barber. And he's what? A higher earner? 
dealing with a barber. And what is he getting out of it? No kids, maybe one. So when you ladies want to sit back and say, oh, that's so mean and so harsh, y'all ain't thinking about the men. You're only listening to what the women want. What would that man have to deal? He'd have to deal with all that shit. And what these last couple of women have showed that they have not put no thought into the men. And when I mentioned to her, go back and get with your baby. Oh. Newsflash, black women, your college degree doesn't mean it means nothing to men. Your job means nothing to men. You are judged on your looks first. And after you pass the looks, then other things matter. And I know there are women who will sit back and tell you that it's not the truth, but they don't have a penis and they don't have men. They can't help you. The women that are telling you it doesn't matter likely already have a husband or are single AF. Damn, this pisses me off. There you have it, guys. In this eye-opening episode, Kevin Samuels confronted the prevalent issue of women overlooking the desires of men in relationships. He highlighted the self-centered mindset that often prevails, where individuals focus solely on their own wants without considering the needs of their partners. This delusion is further reinforced by the manifestation mindset perpetuated by the prosperity gospel. Kevin's insights serve as a wake-up call, urging viewers to adopt a more balanced and realistic approach to dating and relationships. Thanks for watching, and be sure to let me know your thoughts on the call in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Relationship Report for more thought-provoking content. See you in the next one.